recall the group S3, um, which has six elements, um, 1x x squared, y xy, and xy squared. And remember, we have the identity that y times x is equal to x squared y. I've written down four different subsets of S3. And we are going to decide which of these are subgroups. Uh, if you would like, you can pause the video and try this yourself before I do it. Okay, if you're back, uh, let's get started. So the things that we need to check are the identity element has to um, be contained in the subset. Uh, the subset has to have inverses, and um, there there has to be this closure axiom, meaning that if we multiply two things in our set, then we get something else in our set H. So let's start with this um, this one on the in the top corner. So. We have the identity. In fact, we have the identity in every single one of these examples, so I won't even talk about that after this. We have the identity. Um, do we have inverses? So, okay, what is the inverse of um, x? So, if we remember, uh, you know, one of the properties of S3 is that x cubed equals 1. Um, we also had y squared equals 1. Um, so if we notice, what will happen is if we multiply x by x squared, we'll get x cubed, which will be 1. So the inverse of x is actually x squared, and the inverse of x squared is actually x. Um, this subgroup, um, so, so, so the inverses are, are contained. Um, and, and, and the other thing that we can see from this is that the closure axiom will be satisfied because the only ways you can multiply are multiplying these two elements to get one or multiplying either of these by one to get itself. So this is a subgroup. Um, and in fact, this subgroup is, is um, the same subgroup as the cyclic subgroup with three elements in it. Um, it's, it, it looks just like our definition of the the cyclic subgroup, um, and 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 we'll make the notion of uh, being when when two groups are the same or different more precise in a future video. Um, let's look at next this one on the bottom here. So this one is not going to work because this will not satisfy the well, we could go with the inverses axiom or the closure axiom. So if we look at um, x here, if we multiply x times x, we'll get x squared. Um, and we don't have x squared. x squared, x squared is not an h. Um, so that's a problem. Another way of looking at this, uh, so, so that breaks closure. Another way of looking at this is x squared is also um, the inverse of x, which is also not an this set right here. This one right here, uh, so let's take a look. We have the inverses axiom satisfied because uh, in each case, um, these are all, uh, if you remember the, the way of thinking about S3 as the reflections and, and rotations of a triangle, these three elements are all of the reflections. So um, any one of them will be like, if we multiply it by itself, um, it will end up being one. And so the, the inverse of each element in this set is in the set. But we still struggle with closure because if we write x, y times y, well, y squared is one, um, as noted before. It's its own inverse. So we just have x. And x is not in our subset. So uh, this, is, this is not a subgroup. This one was not a subgroup. Uh, and finally, 
very simply, we have uh, just one and y, and y is its own inverse, so inverses are satisfied. Uh, as we marked before, we have the identity, and we also have closure, because the only way to multiply this is to multiply y times y, or 1 times y, and 1 times 1, and in each case we'll either get 1 or y. So this group actually is going to be the same group somehow as C2. Mm.